Hi. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to take a Photoshop image and convert it into a website using Webseat. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up a Photoshop file that I created earlier. It's called Sample Webseat Site, and as you can see, it's fairly simple. It has a title layer, a box that goes around it, a header background image, some text at the bottom of the page, and a logo at the top of the page that's made up of some text and a circle. I'm going to show you how to export a quick preview of your website. To open WebZ, open up the Window menu, and under Extensions, select WebZ. This adds WebZ as a panel in your Photoshop sidebar. To see the preview, click the green Preview button. WebZ will export our Photoshop document and give us an HTML file with an accurate preview of your website. You can see that all of the elements have been faithfully reproduced, just like in our Photoshop file. This is great for checking a mock-up or for showing a client. However, the preview mode exports some elements like text as images, so let's look at how to get this website ready for a proper export. To do this, all we're going to do is rename our layers so that they start with a hash. This lets WebZ know that this layer is for export. We'll rename title to hash title, box to hash box, header background to hash header dash background, and text to hash text, just like CSS class selectors. We're also going to export this logo layer group. So we're going to rename the group hash logo. The hash logo group contains two layers, a logo text layer and a logo circle layer. We don't want to export these layers individually, so I haven't marked them for export. What happens in this case is that any layers inside of the hash logo group will be merged together when we run WebZ. This time we'll click the blue build button. You can see that WebZ's exported some images for us, in this case the header background image and the merged logo image and of course the index.html and styles.css that we had last time. We also have a very useful export sheet that shows us some additional information about all of our layers. This is really helpful as we continue to make changes to our site. If I open the index.html, you'll see that everything I marked for export has been reproduced. If you look at the source code for this, you'll find it's beautifully coded just as if a designer did it by hand. The last thing I want to show you is how to use WebG to create responsive websites using the content modifier. To make elements responsive, we'll add the word content to the end of their layer name. Any layer marked with content will be displayed at the full width of whatever device the user is viewing your website with. In this case, I want the header image, the text, and the logo to be responsive, so I'll mark those layers with content and then we'll hit the build button again. You'll see this looks the same at full width, but if we shrink the window down to a smaller size, the elements react responsively and shift based on the size of the window. That's our Getting Started tutorial. We hope you learned how WebZ can make exporting your websites easier. Please visit us at WebZ.com and download the free trial if you haven't done so already.